Good evening. Welcome to South Asia Newsline. I'm Lepakshi Kurana. Here are the top stories we're tracking for you on Monday, the 26th of February. Militant killed a policeman injured in grenade attack in India's Jammu and Kashmir. Court approves a supplementary corruption reference against Pakistan's former finance minister Ishaq Dar. An Afghan ethnic group fumes as ethnicity omitted in ENIC database. And now for all the details. One militant was killed and a policeman injured on Monday after militants lobbed a grenade at a police station in Tral Town of India's northern German Kashmir province. Meanwhile, Pakistan continued to violate ceasefire along the frontier in German Kashmir on Monday. There has been a spate of ceasefire violations by Pakistan this year. A suspected militant was killed and a policeman injured on Monday after militants lobbed a grenade at a police station in Thral town of India's northern Jammu and Kashmir province. The terrorist was identified as Mushtaq Chopan. He died in the grenade explosion when challenged by a sentry while trying to escape from police station Thral, a senior police official confirmed on Twitter. Chopan was under detention in a terror-related case. The injured policeman was reportedly in a stable condition. The area was immediately cordoned off by the security personnel and efforts were underway to nab the attackers till the last reports came in. Meanwhile, Pakistani troops continued to resort to ceasefire violation along the border in Rajori district of Jammu and Kashmir on Monday. A senior army official claimed whenever there is a ceasefire violation, it is an attempt from Pakistan's side to infiltrate terrorists. Hamesha ye jo firing hoti hai aur us taraf se hoti hai isme infiltration ka zarur hath rehta hai aur jo tangdhar aur kupwada mein hua hai usme bhi nischay hi unki infiltration ki koshish thi India blames Pakistan for regularly training and assisting armed militants to infiltrate the Indian borders and spread unrest in the Kashmir valley Pakistan however denies the charges in news from Pakistan, an accountability court in Islamabad on Monday approved a supplementary reference filed by the National Accountability Bureau, the NAB, against Pakistan's former finance minister Ishaq Dar in a corruption case. The new reference has been filed at a time when the accountability court has almost concluded the trial proceedings in a corruption reference against Dar, recording the statements of 29 out of 30 witnesses. Dar, who is presently in London, owing to health reasons, is accused of possessing assets beyond known sources of income. The new supplementary reference includes 10 additional witnesses and three new accused persons. The reference includes the account details of the accused with transactions amounting to over $4 million. The next hearing in the case is scheduled to be held on February 28th. Moving on, Islamabad's claim of having banned the terrorist front organizations linked to UN-designated militant Hafiz Said have proven to be false as video evidences have revealed that they are very much active in Pakistan. The Pakistani government has intelligently removed the names from these establishments, but they continue to function unarmed. Pakistan last month claimed to have blacklisted and seized all charities and offices linked to UN-designated terrorist Hafiz Saeed. But video evidences have revealed that Saeed's charities Jamaat ud dawa or JUD and the Falai Insaniyat or FIF, which the United States claims are terrorist fronts, are very much active in the country. The Pakistani government has intelligently removed the names of JUD and FIF from these establishments, but they continue to function unharmed. These facilities have been taken over by the government only from outside, as JUD personnel continue to function from inside, but with a reduced presence. In Shekhupura, Alaziz Hospital has been renamed as the Government Health and Education Complex. The al Dawa Islamic University has been renamed as Government Islamic University. The JUD has been advised to reduce its activities on the ground, hand over ambulances to government authorities and remove name boards from its premises. 
In news from Afghanistan, ethnic groups Sadat in Afghanistan on Sunday called on President Ashraf Ghani to issue an order to determine the inclusion of names of all ethnic groups in the country into the electronic national identity card database. The tribal elders had earlier refused to apply for the new identity card system until the government addressed their concerns. Sadat tribal elders in Afghanistan on Sunday called on President Ashraf Ghani to issue an order to determine the inclusion of names of all ethnic groups in the country into the Electronic National Identity Card or ENIC database. The community had last week refused to apply for the new card system and said it would boycott it until the government addresses their concerns. According to the tribal elders, Southern ethnicity was included even when Afghanistan first issued ID cards to its nationals. They said government doesn't have the authority to scrap it. As the president of the government, we want to make sure that the government of Afghanistan is in relation with the name of the people. هر قومی که باشه چی بیاد باشه چی سازد باشه با سایر قوم کسی کنار میخوای حبوبات شبیه مانند از که حیاتش از نسش میره ما بوهای تو خود نفس میکشه Meanwhile the process of ENIC registrations has been halted temporarily ahead of the Kabul process meeting scheduled to be held this week Based on the presidential decree the new identity cards will contain the nationality and ethnicity of each person however these two controversial words had been omitted from the cards in the law previously ratified in 2015 Atu Day Buddhist Festival concluded in Lay town of India's northern German Kashmir province on Sunday the annual festival for which hundreds from across the world converge at the Buddhist monastery is celebrated to mark the birth anniversary of an Indian Buddhist master A two-day Buddhist festival concluded on Sunday in the Leh town of India's northern Jammu and Kashmir province. The festival celebrated annually marks the birthday of an Indian Buddhist master, Guru Rinpoche, which falls on 9th and 10th day of the first month of the Tibetan lunar calendar. The carnival attended by hundreds of Buddhist followers and tourists from across the world every year at Leh's Pituk Monastery is marked through different dance performances. I absolutely love it. It's the first time in Ladakh. I love the colors. I love the costumes. Um, I feel a lot of emotion when I see them dancing, um, and I'm very happy to share this with you. Monks during the celebrations dress up in elaborate robes and masks and recreate legends associated with different gods. Two oracles, mostly laymen, who are prepared by the priests to receive spirits of deities and who meditate for two months ahead of the festival, are the main highlight of the carnival. Devotees come to these oracles for predictions about future. With the vibrant spring festival of Holi round the corner, people all over India are ushering in the festival of colors. Locals have begun the celebrations days before the main day of Holi by singing folk songs while some are preparing herbal colors. Holi is an annual festival celebrated across all over India. It marks the onset of spring. Varanasi, the spiritual capital of India, embraced the festivities with colorful clothes as local residents sang folk songs days ahead of the main festival. Locals also consumed bhang, a delicacy made of cannabis which is considered a traditional offering for Hindu god Shiva. Banaras me Holi प्रति वर्ष बहुत ही अच्छे ढंग से मनाई भी जाती है और बनारस की होली का बड़ा महत्व है क्योंकि बनारस एक ऐसा ऐतिहासिक स्थल है जहाँ पर तमाम प्रकार के पर्यटक जो भी यहाँ के बनारस में आकर के होली खेलते हैं इसलिए वाराणसी में जो होली होता है वह देश में अन्य भागों से बहुत ही अलग होता है In Himalayan province of Uttarakhand, local women prepare traditional herbal holy colors made from natural sources including flowers, berries, spices and other plants. होली का त्योहार के जैसे रंग मनाए जा रहे हैं और इसमें बाजार में जाते तो हमें केमिकल वाले रंग मिलते हैं तो हमने सोचा कि हर्बल रंग बनाए हर्बल घर में तैयार करें और इसको भी हमको रोजगार भी मिल जाता है होली इज आल्सो एसोसिएटेड विद द इटर्नल लव ऑफ लॉर्ड कृष्णा एंड इस कंसोर्ट राधा 
Locals in India's western Gujarat province gathered to witness celebrations days ahead of the festival with folk music and traditional acts. Holi celebrated every year across India and people celebrated with colourful powders in full spirit and fervour. Well, that's the way it was in South Asia this evening. Before we conclude, the top stories once again. Militants killed a policeman and injured in grenade attack in India's Jammu and Kashmir. Court approves a supplementary corruption reference against Pakistan's former finance minister Ishaq Dar. An Afghan ethnic group fumes as ethnicity omitted in ENIC database. Now our viewers can watch the show on SouthAsianewsline.com. You can also visit us on Facebook.com slash SAsianewsline and follow us on Twitter at SAsianewsline. That's all in tonight's edition. We'll see you same time tomorrow. Good night.